Now, whilst we're here, you might as well register your own name as a domain name. Okay, now you might not need it right now, but if you're going to have any kind of online presence, it's a good idea to register your own name as a domain name so that you can control how you're, you are portrayed on the, on the internet. Okay, you will have your own domain in your own name and you can put on there what you want. So you are in effect controlling what people see about you on the internet. Now, if your name is unusual, then it's highly likely that you'll be able to buy your own domain name. But if it's a more popular name, let's take it for example John Smith, then it's likely that your name has already been registered by somebody else. So let's just check that. What we do is we go to we click on here and we write in John Smith. So let's pretend my name is John Smith and I want to buy John Smith as a domain. So johnsmith.com, I press go and we see what happens. Sure enough, johnsmith.com is already taken, which isn't surprising. And in fact, many of the other domain name extensions have also been taken. So .co, .info, .net, .org, .us. These are offering me to back order these names, which means they're taken, but I can kind of reserve them. So if they're not re-registered by the existing owner, GoDaddy will inform me when it becomes available and I could perhaps uh, then register it. I wouldn't bother doing any of that. Okay, now down here, it gives me some alternative suggestions. So it's suggesting that I might want to use these names. Now, quite often these suggestions might be useful to you, but usually they're not. It also shows you some premium domain names. These are, these are domain names that are particularly good and that you have to pay a lot more for. So if you wanted captainjohnsmith.com, then you have to pay $1,875 for it. Or if you wanted stjohn.co, you'd have to pay seven and a half thousand pounds for that. Okay. Here are some country or region specific domains that are available and you can click on here to see some more. Okay, if you keep clicking and you might find that your country code is available. But like I said, unless you're specifically targeting your country, then it's best to use .com if you can. Okay. So there are some John Smiths here. For instance, if I was John Smith based in New Zealand, johnsmith.co.nz is available for example okay down here is some more types of domains that you could buy and there's just, just one I want to show you and that's this .tv one now that's actually a country specific extension for a small nation island state called Tuvalu based in the South Pacific so a domain that's ostensibly based in Tuvalu might use .tv but because TV is used as an abbreviation for television, it's often used for websites that show video. So fat loss for pregnant women TV might have lots of videos on how pregnant women can reduce their weight, for example. OK, but anyway, we've established that johnsmith.com is not available. So let's do a new search. And what we can do is try putting a hyphen in. So John Dash Smith, as we can see, it's already taken. Let's do another search. We might consider putting in an initial. So let's say my initial was E. Let's have a look if John E. Smith is available. Do a search. It's already taken as well. OK, let's try something else. Let's try John hyphen e hyphen smith is that available ah now so if my name was john my initial was e and my surname was smith i might consider buying that as a domain name okay other things you might look at if i don't want to do that i could choose something like john smith online perhaps Oops, not on Klein, but online let's try that That's already taken. Or maybe if I was going to set up a blog, which you probably would, if you had it, if you're using your own name for a, a domain, it would, it would probably be a blog. A blog is where you just write articles and people can add their own comments, etc. 
So it's likely if you had your own domain name as a website, it would be a blog. So John Smith blog is already taken. Um, let's try John Smith dash blog. So that is available. So as you can see, um, I've, I've chosen what, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the most popular names in the world, John Smith. And even though johnsmith.com was taken, there were several domain names that I came across that I could use if my name was John Smith. And John Smith dash blog is one of them. I think John dash E dash Smith was available, if I remember. I can't remember. But anyway, so even if your domain, if your name it has been already taken, play around with it a bit and see if you can find a variation of your name.